Hey, my name is Hunter, and I serve on the pastoral team here at First Assembly. Welcome to 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. Today, we're going to explore the topic of mindsets and heart posture. Altars play a really significant and, and oftentimes weird role in the lives of God's people, uh, especially in the Bible. In the Old Testament, we see a significant moment uh, where God's people cross the Jordan River into the Promised Land, and they're called to build an altar to the Lord. Uh, and when I read this story, I'm just impacted by the way that it reminds God's people of what the Lord has done in their life, that He brought them out of Egypt and slavery, that He brought them through the wilderness, across the river, and into the Promised Land. It's a reminder that God delivers people, that He saves people that He is in authority and in charge. Altars play a really important role. And as social media and the growing access to a divisive opinion and rhetoric gain a more intense role and in, in our thought life and the way we operate in 2021, I think it's so important for us to build a new kind of altar in our minds and in our hearts. It's this, this altar that reminds us of the way that Jesus operated, his mindset he had towards people and himself and the kingdom and his heart posture towards others. There's a significant moment in uh, the, the New Testament where Paul writes a letter to the Philippian church and in chapter two, he encourages them and I believe us as well to build a new kind of altar. Here's what he says. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being unified with Christ, if you have any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded and having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceits. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of other people. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindsets, the same heart posture that Christ Jesus had, who being in very nature was God, did not consider himself equal with God and did not consider this something to be used to his own advantage, but rather he made himself nothing by taking the position and very nature of a servant being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death uh, on the cross. And therefore God exalted him and raised him up to the highest place and gave him honor and gave his name a high place above every other name that everybody would bow to the name of Jesus. This scripture for me has become an altar in my own life. And my prayer and my hope is that it can become an altar that you start to build in your own life as well. As we navigate these difficult times where our opinions seem to matter more than anything else, and we, we often find ourselves put against our own family or friends or spouses and, and people in our lives, I think it's so important for us to go back to the altar of who Jesus was towards other people, that we would be reminded of his mindset and his heart posture that we'd be unified in that same mind and heart as Christ, that we would be unified in love and spirit towards one another, not only in the church with people that are like us, but people who are not like us. So let's take a moment and pray together through our heart posture, our mindset, and ask the Lord to deliver us from the temptation to be swayed by the way of the world. Let's take a moment and pray. Jesus, I am so grateful for the example that you give towards myself and all of us as we follow you. And I pray that in, in 2021 and 2022 and, and beyond, God, that you would help us navigate the way of the world, that we would remain engaged, that we would be in the world, God, but we would not become of the world. Help us to remain steadfast in our love and grace and unity and remind us, God, of who you are, of your mindset and your heart posture as we navigate these difficult, divisive times. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.